free science lessons. Enzymes. Enzymes are catalysts produced by living things. Living things have thousands of different chemical reactions going on inside them all the time. These reactions need to be carefully controlled to get the right amount of substances. You can usually make a reaction happen more quickly by raising the temperature. Raising the temperature would speed up the usual reactions but also the unwanted ones too. There's also a limit to how far you can raise the temperature inside a living creature before its cells start getting damaged, so living things produce enzymes that act as biological catalysts. Enzymes reduce the need for high temperatures and we only have enzymes to speed up the useful chemical reactions of the body. A catalyst is a substance which increases the speed of a reaction without being changed or used up in the reaction. Enzymes are large proteins and all proteins are made up of chains of amino acids. These chains are folded into unique shapes which enzymes need to do their jobs. Enzymes have special shapes so they can catalyze reactions. Chemical reactions usually involve things either being split apart or joined together. Every enzyme has an active site with a unique shape that fits onto the substance involved in the reaction. Enzymes are really picky. They usually only catalyze one specific reaction. This is because for the enzyme to work, the substrate has to fit into its active site. If the substrate doesn't match the enzyme's active site, then the reaction won't be catalyzed. Enzymes need the right temperature and pH. Changing the temperature changes the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Like with any reaction, a higher temperature increases the rate at first. But if it gets too hot, some of the bonds holding the enzyme together break. This changes the shape of the enzyme's active site, so the substrate won't fit anymore. The enzyme is said to be denatured. All enzymes have an optimum temperature that they work best at. The pH also affects enzymes. If it's too high or too low, the pH interferes with the bonds holding the enzyme together. This changes the shape of the active site and denatures the enzyme. All enzymes have an optimum temperature that they work best at. It's often neutral pH 7, but not always. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.